So yeah, I, I investigated this and to to address this, I mean, it's sad that we even have to start out addressing it. I don't think it's the right way to go, but yeah, they ruined my the visual of my speech for sure. Um, and you know, if you looked out on the rally or in the rally, there were a lot of American flags. And there were some a few scattered handful of freaks alongside the outskirts, the periphery of the rally, who were holding the kinds of flags that were would be perfect for like corporate media yeah. or pro-war propagandists to photograph and use it to tarnish the entire rally. So this cat did everything he could to deliberately put that flag behind me, which is exactly the kind of look that like the neocons would want. Yeah, and right. I looked into it. I have some pretty good intelligence and I will publicly retract this uh, if I'm wrong, but I've been told a pretty good authority that that was a senior member of Caleb Maupin's uh, Center for Political Innovation, which, uh, you know, they didn't participate in the rally. Like Caleb didn't speak. And I don't know what that guy was thinking. I don't know if, he, but, but they like to do like this LARPing cosplay stuff and they do it at their conferences and they, you know, discredit themselves as much as they can in the eyes of anyone who doesn't already agree with them. So if that's what they want to do, fine, but just don't do it on my time in my space. And that's what they did. And I, I really, Oh, if that's, so if they're that's just her, if, like idiots. That's not, a, that's so much look like yeah. a log cat. What is it? The Lincoln, the Lincoln project, Lincoln project. Kind of, yeah. you know, like a tiki. It torch. looks like some LARPing idiot, uh, but it could be, uh, I, I, I honestly, I thought it was a Lincoln project thing. Then my second guess would have been that this was some like Russian guy who is actually Russian, who was just trying to throw the gauntlet down before America and Washington, because you know, the Ru Russian symbols have been banned across the West. And it turned out it's just some white dude from America who's like maybe got a few screws loose. Yeah. I don't know what his problem is, but definitely played a destructive role. And, you know, in dissident movements, it's a magnet for people who are like a few cards short of a deck. 